a little bit more patriotic than the next kid. Always worried about uh, people who had their hats on during the national anthem at ball games, and very serious about the Pledge of Allegiance and such things. So it was sort of natural for me to, to want to be involved in, in, in government in Washington. Although I wasn't personally impacted uh, by the 9-11 terrorist attacks, I, I didn't lose a family member uh, or a friend. It was a watershed moment for me because it really made it impossible for me to wait any longer uh, to work on the issues that I cared about most. At the time, I was practicing law in California, but I really wanted to work in this field and help protect America from future potential attacks. Twice. The Office of Anti-Terrorism is a coordinating office. Our priority mission is to prevent terrorists and terrorist weapons from entering the country. And the challenge is really immense. We have 317 official ports of entry and thousands of miles of land, air, and sea border. We're processing over a million travelers entering our country from aircraft over the land border and on cruise ships every day. On the enforcement side, it's of 3,300 people a day apprehended both at and between the ports of entry. Quite a bit of air activity. We've actually had several work agents die in the line of duty trying to protect the American border in the last two years since the Department of Homeland Security was created. So they're the ones facing the risk and, and they're the ones we're focused on from headquarters. This recognition means a lot personally, but more importantly, it recognizes the tremendous work that 40,000 law enforcement professionals do every day to protect the American people out there on our borders, day and night, oftentimes in dangerous, difficult conditions to secure our freedom.